Hey your lovelies, Isabel here from Isabel May Nails Instagram and YouTube. So I am so excited to be sharing with you a buy a sculpture tutorial using the Essence Glitter Coloured Soft Flakes. So I'm going to be showing you a few designs and comparisons between these beautiful new Essence Soft Flakes, comparing them to harder flakes as well, showing you them over a couple of different colours and how they completely transform. So if you want to see all that, then just keep watching. So here are the three beautiful Essence Glitter Flakes. This is Sugared Lilac, which is a beautiful purple iridescent. This one here is Candy Pink, which is a beautiful pink iridescent. And then this one here is Bubblegum Blue, which is a blue iridescent. And they all kind of reflect slightly different colors. I just thought I'd show you some hard flakes so you can get a little bit of an idea of the difference. So these are some hard flakes. So when you put these into gel, they normally stick out. They're quite rigid and tough. They don't encapsulate quite as easily as soft flakes do. And they're quite, yeah, they're just very hard and slightly more difficult to encapsulate. And you normally end up with a little bit sticking up. So if you see in here, the flakes are a lot more soft and they really almost melt into gel rather than stick out of it. They're so beautiful to work with. So let's, first off, I'll show you them over a couple of different colors so you can see how beautiful they are. What I've done on this wheel is apply one coat of Evo Bio Sculpture Gel Polishes. I've got Whitney and Daniela as the white and the black, and then I've got Tiffany, Stella, and Kylie here as the three colors. And I'm gonna put all three of the different flakes on top, dabbing them into the tacky layer just to show how beautiful they are and how they transform over different bases too. So let's add the flakes. And what I do just to finish off and make sure they've stuck really well is just burnish the flakes into the tacky layer. So I'm using that same brush and just rubbing over the surface to smooth out the flakes. And this is what I mean by soft flakes. They completely smooth in and lay completely flat. So when you top coat, you don't have any bits of flakes sticking out, which is really nice. It keeps the nails nice and thin and looking beautiful. And you could definitely put these flakes over any color you wanted and you can see it completely transforms it. And what I would do is just double top coat to make sure they're all nicely sealed in. And that is one way you can apply the flakes with a super beautiful finish. Let's move on to a couple of designs. So for the first design, I'm gonna use Candy Pink and I'm actually gonna leave the nail clear. So I'm gonna go in first of all with some of Oxygenating Base to create a sticky layer for the flakes to stick into. So I'm gonna apply one coat of this, one thin coat of this onto the nail. Imagine you've already got your base coat on the nail. So this would be your second coat and this is purely for design purposes. So I'm applying a thin layer of Oxygenating Base Coat and we're gonna leave it wet we're not going to cure this. I'm then going to take the Biosculpture Round 6 brush and pick up some of these flakes on the brush. And I'm going to start to drop them in to this wet layer, mainly focusing on the center part of the nail. And because they're colored flakes, you'll see that color peeking through and get that nice pink undertone, which is so beautiful. And then I'm gonna pop that in the lamp to cure. Whilst that's curing, I'm just gonna grab my palette out and decant a little bit of Renee onto the pal palette, which is a beautiful glitter gel. And just pop a little bit of that there. Okay, so this has just come out of the lamp now. It is cured and set in place. And I'm just going in with this Essence Glitter Brush just to dust over the top, make sure there's no loose little bits of flakes anywhere, and just to make sure everything's laying nice and smooth. I'm now going to go in with the Upper Arch Brush and just take some of this gel. And we're going to do an outline around the edge. We're going for kind of a crystally natural vibe for this nail. So you don't have to be super perfect with this. It can be squiggly and messy around the outer edge.
Once I've applied that glitter gel all around the edge, I'm gonna use my brush and slowly start to drag that glitter gel in towards the center of the nail. You can bring the glitter gel in as far as you want it to go and I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure. So that nail has just come out of the lamp, I'm going to go in with the gloss top coat now. Just one even coat of this over the whole entire surface of the nail. Make sure you cap your free edge and pop it in the lamp for a final cure. So there we have it, that is the finished nail. Super magical, opal, kind of gemstone, iridescent unicorn vibe nail. I've just taken the nail off the little stand and rested it on top of my thumb so you can see what it looks like on a nail. Look how magical that looks. On to the next design. I'm going to decant some of Kylie onto the palette down here and then I'm going to decant some of Tiffany as well again into a long strip. Take a small amount of Whitney and lastly I'm going to take some oxygenating base coat. I'm going to add some on the very edge as well making sure I've got enough. Make sure you clean your brush off before you pop it back in the pot in case you've got any colour on there. I'm then going to take the oxygenating base coat and apply a thin layer over the entire surface of our nail. Again leaving this wet. I'm then going to take the palette and my round brush. I'm gonna go through and scoop up some of that gel and I'm gonna slowly swirl it onto the nail. Okay, so that is what it's looking like a ripply marble effect at the moment. I'm going to pop that into the spectral lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Whilst that's curing, I'm going to take my palette again and decant a little bit of the oxygenating base. I'm then going to take both of these flakes and I'm going to mix a small amount of these flakes into that wet gel layer. So I've got my two mixtures and I'm just following the flow of where these marble ripples are and dragging some of these flakes through. And then I'm going to go in with some of the blue. And you can see the blue ripple and then the purple ripple at the top, which has a beautiful gold reflect to it. And then I'm going to cure that in my lamp. Okie dokie, so that has just come out of the lamp. Look how magical that looks. I'm going to go in and apply a layer of top coat now. When the nails come out of the lamp, just give it a final cleanse over. And that's that design done. The flakes work perfectly for using in gels like this because again, they just melt into that gel and just lay so soft and smooth and just create so much depth and dimension. Just pop this one on my nail as well so you can get more of an idea of what it would actually look like. So there we have it, there are all the designs and the beautiful soft flakes. I really hope you enjoyed and found this tutorial helpful and picked up some tips and tricks and saw how beautiful these flakes are, they're gorgeous. And yeah, thank you so much for watching again. Don't forget to go follow me on my Instagram and YouTube, Isabel May Nails, and I'll see you soon. Bye.